What's up, guys? My name's Jonathan. This is my Canon, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Canoneer. Now, today we've got a subscriber shot special by somebody that you guys are very familiar with, the one and only Evan Perry. Now, in case you guys didn't see the very first video where we shot Evan's Canonabra rounds, I'm going to link it somewhere up here, Evan's got a knack for making cool projectiles out of very odd and interesting things, so today we've got another one that he calls the Mega Enigma Rounds. So I'll meet you guys over at the range in just a second and show you guys those Mega Enigma Rounds, and we'll test them out out of the cannon here and see what they do. And I also wanted to let you guys know that we're going to be testing out our new slow-mo camera, and this will be the first video where you guys get to see that footage. So I'll meet you guys over at the range in just a second, but a couple of quick things before we head on over there. One, if you guys haven't done so already, go ahead and drop down below and hit that subscribe button. I'm sure you guys are going to want to keep up with all the fun stuff that we've got coming out in the future that we'll be shooting with the cannon here and out of the cannon. Two, if you guys are maybe interested in sending us some projectiles of your own design like Evan, all the information for the subscriber shot special will be down in the description below. And last but not least, I'd like to take just a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, Aura. Have you ever thought about how many times you have to hit the unsubscribe from mailing list button on random spam emails that you get throughout the day about grandma's best recipe or the funniest joke of the day? Or even worse, when you get random spam texts that tell you about how you have a package out for delivery or that somebody would like to speak to you about a fantastic new job offer. So if you get as many of these random spam texts and emails as I used to, it's probably because your personal information has been made available online for data brokers, scammers, and other bad actors to do with what they wish. But there is something that you can do about it, and it's the same thing that I did when I started using the sponsor of today's video, Aura. Aura constantly scans and monitors places like the dark web, online court records, and other public online forums for places where your personal information might be available for bad actors to take advantage of. Aura even submits opt-out requests to data brokers on your behalf to have your information removed from their database, which they legally have to comply with. Information such as your full legal name, your birth date, home address, phone numbers, email addresses, and even the same information for your family members might be left at risk online. They also offer all kinds of other cool services like a VPN, credit card monitoring, and online internet family protections if you need those kind of things. So if you're as concerned as I am about your online privacy, or if you're just tired of getting all of those spam texts and emails, be sure to click my link in the pinned comment or the description below, or scan the QR code on screen and get a 14-day free trial of Aura, and let Aura start protecting your identity today. Thanks again to Aura, and now back to today's video. Okay guys, we got a subscriber shot special today by Evan Perry. This is what he calls the Mega Enigma Rounds. They're made out of two drawer pulls and they screw together in the middle. Now I'm just gonna tighten them up really well. So we'll test this out and see what they do. I'm thinking they're gonna fly kind of like this, but we will find out. So let's touch it off and see what happens. Okay guys, this is Evan's first Mega Enigma round. We've got 400 grains of powder and we just put in about an inch or so of our pool noodle wad. Pack that down nice and tight. And there's the Mega Enigma itself going in. So we will see what this does. Okay, guys, we're over here at our target. It smells just like orange soda. Beautiful hole that that mega enigma left in there. Our soda bottle's all the way over here, blown to bits. So we'll put another one of those mega enigmas in here and see what happens. Okay, y'all, we got another mega enigma round loaded up. We'll see if we can send it through our Kevlar flak vest down there. I'm not real sure if it's gonna go through. I think it's probably gonna catch it, but we'll find out. Quick thanks to Varden's Body Shop for helping us out with our backstops, and to Uncle Tommy for letting us use his range. Uh. 
Okay guys, I got everything set up, so let's see if we caught that Mega Enigma in our vest here. So that looks like a nice entrance hole, something hit right there, I'm not sure what that is. But, I don't feel it in here, maybe it went right there, I don't know. I don't feel it anywhere in here, so. Okay y'all, I got to looking around a little bit more in the vest, and there is part of that mega enigma right here. It is right there. So, didn't go through, but that's what it looks like after it gets shot out of the cannon and into our Kevlar vest here. So, there you go. Okay, y'all, y'all asked me for some harder targets, so we got a military helmet down there with a cabbage in it. So we'll see what happens with one of these mega enigma rounds hits that helmet. Okay, y'all, we're gonna take this out with a round ball, but looking at the high speed, I can see where we hit the wood here, and I figured you guys might wanna see a giant hunk of wood taken out by that mega enigma round on this log here. So, let's take that out with a round ball. I don't think that helmet stopped that round ball at all. So there's our impact hole with some cabbage stuck in it. Here's our cabbage over here. And let's check out our helmet all the way over here. Oh yeah, no problem whatsoever for that round ball. Right through that helmet, blew it to pieces. Don't think you'd be surviving an impact from a cannon wearing one of these style military helmets. Okay, y'all, y'all saw us shoot some flour once and y'all suggested we try something else with it. So I've got another little uh, variation on flour down there and one of these. So we're going to see what happens when we touch off Evan's last mega enigma round against that non-dairy creamer with one of these on there. Okay, well, we missed it with that last Mega Enigma round. Well, we got a lead ball loaded up. We'll take it out this time and see if we can get that explosion going. No fireball this time, but we'll definitely revisit it and try again. Okay guys, we've got another one of Evan's Mega Enigma rounds loaded up. You guys have been asking me for some ballistic gel. We're also going to try to chronograph this one. So let's touch it off and see what that Mega Enigma does to this ballistic gel. I think it's just going to rip it apart, but let's find out.
830 feet per second at 20 yards with 400 grains of black powder. So let's go check out that damage. Okay, y'all, here's the damage. Our top, this is our bottom block. Looks relatively unscathed. Our top block, on the other hand, is what took the damage. Whoa, okay. So there's obviously where it hit somewhere around in here, cleaved it all in half. Looks like it came out somewhere in the back, back in here. So pretty good wound path for that. I'm excited to see what it looks like on our high-speed cameras. Okay, also, I just wanted to give you guys a little idea of how far that ballistic gel got huffed from that mega enigma. There's a piece of it over there, one of them over there, and a piece of it way over there. So that mega enigma flung that ballistic gel, what is that, probably about 15 or so feet all the way over there. So don't want to get hit with one of those. Okay, guys, we got Evan's last mega enigma round. We're going to go ahead and up our powder charge to 800 grains. We've got 840 or so feet per second out of that last one. Let's see what we can do with double the powder grain. Didn't catch it on the chrono. Okay, y'all, we're up here at our block of wood. Here's the back of it. As you can see, there's a beautiful hole on the other side there. You can probably see that through there. So let's flip this over. Beautiful entrance hole, perfectly round. It looks like it went in right there and maybe the second half of it kind of came in right there. No problem punching through those boards whatsoever. Awesome little mega enigma rounds. Well, guys, that was a fun one, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. How did Evan's Mega Enigma rounds perform out of our cannon? I think they did pretty well, but let me know what you guys think as well. So thanks for hanging out here till the end, guys. I really appreciate it. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button while you're down there if you haven't. Go ahead and leave us a comment. If you have any questions about the cannon, I'll be happy to answer them for you. Once again, guys, thanks for hanging out here till the end. My name's Jonathan. This is my cannon. Thanks again to Aura for sponsoring this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of The Cannoneer. Thank <laughs> you.